So I've decided to cut my hair. Basically, it's final season. It's a very stressful time and I feel like that just goes hand in hand with making impulsive hair cutting decisions. So what better time than now to cut my hair? If you guys have been following my channel, I was blonde and then I re-dyed my hair brown to my normal color just over a year ago now. It's grown out quite a bit because I cut it like here. But you can see where like my natural brown is in and then where it was blonde and re-dyed to brown. When it comes to like coloring my hair, I don't trust myself. But when it comes to cutting my hair I usually do it myself I cut my hair like for my 19th birthday but it was literally just like a chop straight across but today I'm wanting to try to give myself layers I've watched a singular tutorial on how to do it and she made it seem really easy so I'm like kind of telling myself that it should be fine that I can do it it's getting like really light on the ends like look at the difference that is crazy because again this is all the blonde hair that was re-dyed to my natural color but it's like been fading over the past like year and some change. When I last cut my own hair on my 19th birthday, which was like almost three years ago now, which is crazy, I was doing it with dry hair and I don't know why I did that. So today I'm gonna try to be better. So I'm gonna go wet my hair and I'll be right back. My hair is wet now. I don't have any hair cutting scissors, so I'm gonna use these little like eyebrow trimming scissors. If those don't work, because they are kind of small, I have my normal paper scissors. So the first thing, get the little bangs. I'm trying to do like face framing layers, right? I don't have the little comb to like help separate my hair, so I'm just gonna do what I can. You're supposed to make them like two even triangles. Get this little water spray bottle. Brush this down. I have this little baby brush, but not a comb. How do I not have a comb? That's so embarrassing. Let's start long. I wanna ideally do it like here, like around my upper lip, but I'm gonna start long first. Oh, okay. Oh, that feels really short. It's just the like face framing pieces. Wait, this is like actually so scary now that I'm like thinking about this. I feel like kind of committed. Also, I'm literally bending over. This is like oh, such an awkward angle. Why do they not look even? What the heck? Should I make it a little shorter? It's kind of dangerous, guys. This is when things go bad. When you like start making it go shorter and shorter. I'm gonna break my neck in this video. Oh, did you hear that? I'm gonna focus on one side. Got the next section. Why did I think this was a good idea? Better to cut not enough than too much. Oh, that felt like a lot. I feel like doing this like isn't helping. I feel like I'm like cutting off too much hair when I do the this thing. Oh, what am I doing? The third one she did was like when you start exaggerating the angle. It's just so hard to see. At the end of the day, it's just hair. <laughs> it's kind of giving email boy where he's like, was this a mistake? This might have been a mistake. I, I like can't even tell if it's gonna look good or not. I think I'm gonna start freestyling now. My hand is literally shaking. I'm starting to panic. Just a little trim. I feel like it doesn't even look like I've really done that much. Also, there's like a lot of hair on my floor. Hopefully this side will be easier since I'm left-handed. I should have started with this side. I think I need to cut like right. Oh my gosh, why are these lines so much easier on this side? Oh, I did not mean to cut it like that. Chop, chop. In the video, she was like, you can just like be able to see the diagonal. And I like, <laughs> I can't see the diagonal. Okay, let's see if they like add up. Those are even. These are not even. <laughs> Do you see the difference? I feel like this does not look good at all. I love how I said I'm not gonna cut my hair dry and then here I am. Maybe I should cut off another inch. Let's just do a little, little snippety snip. It feels so much healthier. I'm gonna do my hair like fully and we'll see how it looks. All right. It honestly doesn't look very good right now. Just because I'm in a rush, I have to go. It's actually my friend's birthday. I just like can't figure out how to do like a blowout. For not spending like $75, I feel like it's good enough. It definitely adds some like nice volume. It's very flippable. It like adds volume on the top. Let me know what you think. Give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.